School leaders in Ardmore are asking you to pay more attention when driving in front of Ardmore High School. A student was recently hit by a car while walking home right in front of the school. Our Matthew King in front of Ardmore High School is one of the city's busier roads. It says 25, but you'll see a lot of people doing more than 25. Matt Randolph's daughter was recently hit by a car as she was trying to walk home. He says the impact gave her a concussion and a road rash. She was med flighted to Vanderbilt Children's Hospital in Nashville. Randolph says fortunately his daughter will recover from her injuries, but the road still presents a danger. If something's not done, then there's going to be unfortunately a not a lot more kids getting hit out here. Ardmore Police Chief Jeremy Robison says they are making strides to making sure this doesn't happen again. He says the day of the accident, a perfect storm of fewer officers scattered around town meant no one could make it to the school for traffic duty. You know, we didn't have anybody available. Robison says it's also on the school faculty now to encourage students to be more careful using the crosswalk that doesn't have a stoplight compared to the one that does. Even if you tell them that that's where they need to cross, you're still going to have it is a public crossway, and if they choose to go there instead, you know, that's kind of a crossing at your own risk thing. On top of keeping the students aware of incoming traffic, both ask Ardmore drivers to slow down. Three o'clock bell hit, it's time to get up out of there. We all remember that. But, you know, those little, those little things can change the whole trajectory of your life if you're not paying attention or, you know, something like that. This could have ended way worse than it did. It's going to take the whole community coming together to solve this problem. In Ardmore, Matthew King, 48 on your side.